hello 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 welcome to my channel my name is Oba King. if you are a first timer then welcome and please don't forget to subscribe if you are a returning subscriber good to have you back and today's video is about this my backpack right i haven't unpacked this backpack because i told myself i will do a video for you guys to show you what is in it before I unpack everything in it. This is the bag that I took to the Otter Trail. Everything is still in here. Well, yeah, almost everything because, you know, the food is almost gone. So we'll just go through it, see what is in here. And yeah, some of the tips that I have for you guys. Um, so for those of you who don't know the Otter Trail, this is a five day adventure in the Eastern Cape. The hike starts off in Storms River in the eastern cape um in titikama okay it's the titikama national park and then from there you hike for 45 kilometers over five days uh, to nature's valley it's absolutely amazing it yeah it, uh, no words can actually describe the trail i enjoyed it it was brutal it was anyway yeah that you can see on my review of the hike on my vlog of the hike so for today let's just focus on the bag okay first of all we'll look at the actual bag this is the bag i took to the auto trail the keyway bag oh look at that adventure 60 right this is what i took for the trail um so it's a 60 liter bag which is not bad um it was not full to full capacity okay so i've had this bag for about three years now um i've done a multi-day hike with it before when i was doing the wild coast hike and the things that i love about this bag the straps that you have on your waist actually have pockets where you can put in um small things your snacks maybe your phone as well my phone doesn't fit here i just like force it to fit because i need to take videos and stuff but yeah you put it in those pockets there it has these side pockets here you can also keep your snacks and stuff you know you can keep a lot of stuff on it i had hooked on here as well a lot of things which i removed because i was flying with those bags um yeah but this is the bag and yeah i haven't had any problems with this bag um and when i bought it it came with the rain cover as well so it came with this rain cover yeah all right so that's that's the bag now let's see what is inside the bag right maybe we should start right at the top and right at the top here i have my hat so you definitely need a really nice and cooling um hat here's mine See, it's next. It's not all in in the same order that I had put it in, but let's see what's here. This is sort of my first aid kit. Um, as you can see, there's rehydrate because there was a lot of working, and yeah, at the end of the day, you needed to be sure that you're good for the next day. Um, I'll just list the things that I had included for first aid over here. So that you guys can see that but so this are my anti-nausea uh, pills i do have motion sickness so these were very important for me voltaren also quite important as you can see it's almost finished even this is the 20 grams and i used this for blisters yeah very good and then i have my water purification this is what i bought it's called aqua salveo water disinfectant so you, i just added three drops to one liter of water and it has no aftertaste or anything 
which I really like. Alternatively, you can use um, these water purification tablets. They have Ed Cape, you know, mud. I did buy these, uh, but later on before the hike, I found this. So I decided to use the liquid because I heard the pills have a bit of an aftertaste. So I haven't tried them yet, but yeah, um, those are the two alternatives you can look at for for cleaning up your water on the train. And then I have Slow Mag as well. I took this every night. You need to recover faster for the next day. Um, one of the other things that I have as well is transit patches. So I, I know they say don't do this, but I did this anyway. I just cut it into half, put one strap here on my shoulder, the other one on this side. I put another one here um, on my around my waist where my back sits. Um, on day, I think it was day four, my thighs were painting so i put there as well and my calves so definitely take transit pictures this was my i already removed the toothbrush but this was my travel toiletries right i bought this in this little bag actually from this camp it comes with these little bottles you know and name tags as well as you can see this one i named body lotion so i had put my body lotion in there I had poured my toner which is actually also works as my hair moisturizer it's an earthy hair mist so it works for hair and and skin as well so i used that as a toner and then i had this little one for my face moisturizer um yeah basically this was very helpful because it came in this bag as well which i used um yeah this fell into the bag i also had a very small deodorant spray to use on the hike um oh there they are and i also had these what do they call this again carabiners whatever yeah so i just hooked them on my bag and hooked stuff on it these were really handy for me um we also used one of these on one of the river crossings so very useful things to have these ones i also had this 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 was my camp towel i used when i went to shower um there it is okay and then another thing i have in here this was my sleeping bag guys yes it is the small look how small that is and i got this at decathlon for about 650 yeah 650 and the weight of this is 460 grams so it's one of those ultra light sleeping bags which i loved because i was trying to reduce my weight throughout when i was buying things so this was one of the biggest things for me i considered even taking a blanket but then i yeah i had second guesses because i always get a bit cold you know um in the mornings so this for me worked well and the range for temperature is 15 to 10 degrees celsius which was okay because we went in summer so it wasn't this is not for winter but for summer, this is great to a point where uh, on some days I was even sweating. So it's very warm and comfortable as well. So I'm glad I took this. Um, I also had a pillow, which I had to blow up every night, basically. So you just use that to, to fill it with air and sleep on it. While you're talking about sleep, so this where this is what I was sleeping in. A thermo vest and thermo tights. Got these at Cape Union Mart, also quite warm. So you can also wear these around the camp as well. Or when it's cold, you can put it under your your hiking clothes. But this is what I slept in. 
Oh, one thing for sleep. I had to take my setting do because, yeah, healthy hair is important. So, that's in there. Let's get to um, the kitchen stuff. There you go. My bowl, my full double bowl, right? Great size. Um, this was an extra large folding bowl. Easy to clean. We can even use this as a chopping board. Yeah, which is great. Pot. Right, this two of them. One at top and the bottom. I use this as well to carry some of my food in it. To pack some of my food because, I mean, that's a lot of space. So, just so that I pack everything in. Um, yeah, some of my food in here as well. Instant oats. Uh, instant oats. I had it with some chia seeds. Uh, put on some macadamia butter. This, I got it pepinone, right? It's salt and pepper. And the other one, I discarded the salt and put, on, put in um, my curry my curry spices so this is curry spices you can see the yellow of the turmeric on there um and then i also had tea i also carried chamomile tea so black tea and chamomile is what i had and then for cooking this is what i used so the gas canister guys i actually bought this not thinking that I will have to fly. So I had to leave it behind. So after we landed in George, we went to Cape Union and got these gas canisters because you cannot, you cannot get onto a flight with these. So now I just, I have this. Maybe I'll use it when there's no cheating or something. Um, and basically you just take this, which is your stove top. Let's say you just keep it on top here and you have your stove. Um, you need a lighter or matches in order to you know, get the flame there. But this is for cooking. Another good thing about the otter is that they do have wood. Um, so you can make a campfire and cook with that as well. So you don't necessarily need the gas canister. Another very important thing for me was is this. The water bladder. So I got the three liters because I mean, why not? You can always, you know, uh, fill it to the level that you want, whether you want one liter, two or three. Um, and then basically you just suck on this here and the water comes out. It's super convenient because you don't need to like, um, you know, take off your bag and then take off the, the water bottle to have water. You can just constantly, you know, you, you're drinking water. So it does. And every morning I would just put water in here and put the water purification droplets in here as well because they need to sit for about 30 minutes before you drink the water. Um, some days I did it at night so that in the morning you have water ready to drink. Um, and then I had one bath um, which I used. I used this for quite a lot of things, wiping sweat because it was hardly cold. But yeah, I always had this around my neck. Super, super, super important is this, right? Hiking boots. For me, I didn't want to take um, trail running shoes because I needed the ankle support. And the these boots are waterproof, which, you know, helped a lot when, when it was raining. Um, yeah. But these need to be well worn, okay? I did the mistake of doing uh, my first multi-day hike when I was doing the wild coast with these were relatively new then and it was a pain. It was a pain, it was a pain, it was a pain. So make sure you do your short hikes with them. You do all these hikes in preparation for your big hike using the shoes that you're gonna be wearing, okay? This will help a lot with... Um, 
the comfort level of the shoes and also with blisters i naturally have a problem with blisters but this time around it wasn't too bad and that's just because i had worn these so many times before and then other important stuff for me is this right my trekking poles these help me a lot it helps um with the weight distribution of the bag as well so if it's, the bag is too heavy and with the number of stairs you're gonna be climbing at Ota. <laughs> yeah this comes in very handy <laughs> it helps you just pull yourself upwards on those days okay so very important very 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 important i used to i know some people think that looks weird but for me that works better and it it gives me better balance as well okay i decided not to go for hot clothes as yet i also brought this small notebook in case i wanted to make any notes and stuff but i didn't do that i brought a book uh, which i don't have here now but it was a small book of which that i read so yeah every day before bed i i read a few pages of that so yeah that at least you can do that um back spray needed right um i sprayed this on my sheets before i slept i sprayed this on my body before we left in the morning so i used this quite a lot oh there's my sunscreen and then i had my sunscreen in one of these bottles again right that's my sunscreen my stuff is everywhere now um this is the headlamp right that you're gonna use because on the day that you're gonna cross the Blograns River, we left the hut at 12 midnight, and most people leave at um, you know 1 a.m. in the morning and all of that. So you need this also for light around the camp. Make sure that you have fresh bread trees in here. Um, I did take extra batteries, but I d ended up not de needing them, so I, I just used the ones in here. Oh, and then in here, <laughs> in here I had game. Okay, I bought this in macro um, because they didn't have small sachets, so I had to pour it into a Ziploc bag. But this is essentially game for electrolytes. And in here, this is my avocado oil. Yes, this was for cooking and for my scalp. Mmm, multi purple stuff is always good. One of these filers, I took this because you know when you're hiking, you need to make sure that, especially for your for your toes, you need to make sure that your your nails are filed properly. So I have that in there. Check out the other side. Yes, here is other kitchen stuff. Okay, so this is my spoke. That's the only cutlery I had. Okay. Spoon, fork, all you need. All you need. So even for tea, I was just using this. That's just the sanitizer that I had. I had some honey. Yeah, and then I have this this mug which I was using. I've got this at Cape Union as well. It has one of these, so you can hook it onto your bag on the outside. And then I had scissors. This goes with my first aid kit for cutting those transect patches and bandages and stuff. In addition to the water bladder that I had, I also had this. I think this is seven fifty mils um water bottle so this was just for you know mixing the game so whenever i needed to drink game i i just poured some water in here and game as well um good for also when you when you wanna take water from the streams along the way let's see what else is in this bag and let's put it i tell you i mustn't miss anything um the rest is closed so 
I had taken some um, a swimsuit which I didn't use didn't get to swim I had three tops three t-shirts that I wore this is for hiking and also around the camp these were specially to be worn at the camp so these tights here this is what I wore at the camp um, I had brought two of the socks and two liners as well the liners I also used to, to sleep in and then sports bras I had brought only two um, and then uh, the hiking tights I just brought two as well so it was just two hiking hiking tights and that's because um, I didn't want to take a lot of clothes right um, I was trying to keep my weight down as far as possible and um, I was washing my clothes every day so when I got to camp I was just washing my clothes I don't think I have my old pepper soap here that I could show you guys but I have basically bought the um, sea to summit all in one washer so it, it's a body wash it's um, a dishwasher it's you know it washes clothes basically does everything so that's what I had bought in a little bottle that's what I used I had also these arm sleeves right for cooling on those hot days and then this is my raincoat so one raincoat that I took and then um, another thing that I see now in the bottom here that I had is river shoes right so these are water shoes these are Salomon shoes uh, these are great because you can also wear these around the camp, right? So because of that, that goes in there and then you have sort of like a sandal. Um, these were quick drying actually. I didn't have a problem with them drying out. So these protect you from any debris and stones and stuff while you're crossing the rivers. Um, and then on accessories, the most important thing first is this, your dry bag, right? This is what I had, the Sea to Summit dry bag. This is 10 liters, no, 5 liters. This is a 5 liter one. And it was enough for me to pack my phone. I had taken two of these power banks. This is a 10,000 uh, milli whatever, right? And then this is 20,000. So I wanted 30, but I, I couldn't find power bank that like 30,000 whatever units you, those those are called so I took two of these and actually I only used one and it wasn't even finished and I was charging my phone daily I was charging my GoPro as well and my my iWatch so I charged a lot of things and this actually lasted for me surprisingly so I had my GoPro which I took a lot of uh, videos with. It has a battery in it and then I took a spare battery um, and then I had this head strap as well which I interchangeably somehow made it a makeshift chest strap. Yeah, I make do. Yeah, and then I just took my phone and that's about it. Basically that is what was in inside my bag guys so before i went there i made a list i made an excel list of, of all the things that i needed um and the quantities as well to help me keep track also with my shopping list it helped me keep track of what i still needed and um you know what was outstanding and then i could also um keep on track so that I don't overpack because that's one of the things guys you do not want to overpack you're gonna be carrying all the things that you need for those five days right and you don't want it to be excessively heavy so that was that's why I was strict with my packing this time around I make my list and yeah I stuck to it basically so that's that's my list you can see there that 
I had colored all the things that I had gotten, all the stuff that I was missing, all the stuff that we would share amongst the group, like the rope, right? When crossing rivers. So the rope, I didn't bring a rope, but luckily some of the guys in our team had ropes. Um, let me just see what else I left. And a survival bag, guys. I didn't bring back mine because yeah it got torn and yeah but a survival bag is essentially almost like your liner your liner this is actually a liner so i had put this inside my bag and put all the stuff in it so that if something happens to my survival bag at least some of my stuff is still protected right it's just a big 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 plastic bag um so essentially a survival bag is the same thing right you use it to cross the river so basically you just tie it using so you're gonna need oh there they are cable ties right you take cable ties um so you take your survival bag pretend as if this is a survival bag you put it you put your backpack inside the survival bag um, and then at the top here because you need some air in the survival bag for it to float at the top here you use the cable ties to just tie around here and basically you just uh, drag your bag floating along the river so, yeah. oh look at that i still have one of my foods in here instant mixed vegetables <laughs> this is the dry uh, vegetables that i had these are freeze dried, so they, they still have the the color. But most importantly, make sure you take your salt and pepper, because yeah, most of these dehydrated foods don't have that much salt in them. That is it for today. Thank you for tuning in, and remember to hit that subscribe button. <laughs>